Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. Big Show, how are you doing, man? I'm all right. How about yourself? Eh, eh. I, I can't complain. I'm, I'm, you know what they're saying? The highs don't let the highs get too high and the lows get too low. Uh, I'm, I'm just that. I'm average today. It's all good. It could be better, but it could also be worse. I'm not going to complain. This is true. Though. This is true. Man, um, we got three separate topics today. And the reason why I chose these is because they're all intertwined to a certain degree. Especially the first two. They have their similarities, but they have their differences too. But um, to me, it is a microcosm of the entire world right now. And basically just to let everybody in on where I'm going with this, I'm starting off with the first one. I uh, saw this article and it, it was another one of those head scratchers. Michigan teacher um, was fired after a parent exposes her creative side hustle. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what kind of side hustle you got that somebody's going to get you fired from your teaching job? Uh, long story short, her name was uh, Dominique Brown, and she's a history teacher at uh, Taylor Preparatory High School in Detroit. And in her off hours, not while she's teaching, in her off hours, she uh, works as an aspiring rapper named Drippin' Honey. And uh, that was until she was let go from her teaching job. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I've never heard of Drippin' Honey. I don't know if she's got any albums coming out, if she's even working on an album, what she's, you know, doing. But... I can say this, there are far worse night jobs in the world. And if she's doing what she's supposed to be doing during her day job, is it something that a parent should be upset about? It's one of those things that make me say, there's got to be more to it than that. What do you I'm think? just looking up her. I'm looking up some of her social stuff here. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't even know if this is really her. Well, does what what grade are the kids that she teaches? Um, let me see if it says it here. I just want to, because I want to go back to the part where they said she was unprofessional. Let me see. Does the article say the grade? All I know is it's it's Taylor Preparatory High School. So it's got to be freshman through senior. So it's not like she's teaching like little kids. It doesn't give a grade, but it's got to be freshman through senior because she's at a high school. What was it? Taylor Preparatory? Yeah, Taylor Preparatory High School. In Detroit. In Taylor, Michigan? It could be. It's a suburb of Detroit, so. Mm hmm Well, uh. And apparently it says here that um, when she was hired as a teacher, uh, she had already been doing, she had already been working in the music industry and it didn't hinder her in the hiring process. Now, whether or not she just said, yeah, I'm an aspiring musician or whether it went deeper than that in the interview, I don't know. Uh, I'm just kind of. Mm 
I mean, she's got, well, I mean, just on here, just quick, she's got quite a bit of music on online. Uh, I have mixed, I have mixed feelings about it. Um, I guess it kind of depends on what kind of influence she has on her students. So for instance, if she's singing songs like WAP, it's probably not a good, a good, uh, I mean, would you want Cardi B teaching your kid in high school? Just saying. No, no. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it could be the same principle. I know there's a dumb rap song out there about, you know, her, her cooter is pink and her booty holes brown and all that stuff. I don't know if this is the same chick or not, but even if that was the teacher, you know, you don't want that type of influence on the kids. So I can see the I school can see that. I can see that. trying to separate themselves from that. Um, you know, doesn't make it right, wrong, or indifferent. I mean, I would I mean, actually I have that's to. My point. I mean, she's either to... she's either a Fresh Prince type rap or she's Easy E type rap. You know, for all the older people. Um, yeah, I which would. Is I would. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm trying to pull up one of her songs just so I can read the lyrics. So, uh, so if if it's a wholesome kind of thing, I I, I feel that the firing is um, very very misguided. If if it's more of a street rap, I wouldn't even say gangster rap kind of thing, but just something on the uh, edge or over the edge then as a parent i would have to side with the school now my question is did that parent who took it to the school hear any of it first uh you know uh, maybe not could be something that you know, with social media, one of the high school kids found out about it or, hey, you know, was listening. Who's that? You know, or so, I don't Who knows? Or maybe was watching a video, seen it come across. Man, isn't that your history teacher? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, wasn't there, and, and this may have been a couple of weeks ago, but wasn't there another teacher who was let go who had a OnlyFans page that uh, came up? I, I, Man, maybe I'm thinking about something else. It wouldn't surprise me. And, and uh, uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm. How, how do I, how do I sound? Well, hell, I, I guess I don't have anybody to answer to because you know I am the sole proprietor of this show. I can't fire myself, but I'm gonna put it to you like this. I mean, so just, I'm just, here's some names of her songs, okay? Mm -hmm. Honey Economics, Raw Honey, and she's dressed very scandedly so in this picture. D Writing, Real Bitch, Oh, Tricks, uh, Ninja No. <laughs> <laughs> uh so i you know i yeah i'm i'm I, I'm gonna say that uh it was a little risque at the least and i would say it's prob you know that's just the school um distancing themselves from from that i you know not that it's not that it's right you know or whatever but i i can't find uh I can't find any lyrics. I can find her songs. But I can't find. And see, that's the other thing. Usually when you've got the actual lyrics up, you've pretty much arrived. Um, and, and that being said, school teaching 
was her livelihood. Rapping was at this point her hobby. Mm -hmm. Should she have done more to separate the two? Well, how exactly could you separate the two? Um, well, it depends. How did it get out? Was she just trying to like, hey, you need to listen to my latest single. Hey, class, don't forget to check this out on iTunes. I mean, we don't know. Well, that wouldn't matter how it came out. I mean, it's it, I, it, two seconds of me looking it up. I found all of her songs. You know, it's just like anybody can find it. Yeah, but that's because you knew what to look for. Well, maybe, no, not necessarily. It could have been a family member of another person mm -hmm. that was listening to the song or had the CD in front of them and seen the picture of the girl and was like, damn, ain't that your history teacher? And then started yeah. doing research, okay. you know, that type of thing, you know, or she could have been selling, you know, promoting her stuff too. I'm not saying that either, but regardless of the, what could she have done to separate it? There, there really isn't anything because you're, it'd be different if you were a stripper, mm -hmm. you know, cause you can hide that. The only way you're going to get busted is if you say that's what you do or the principal comes in for a Friday night. <laughs> and ain't neither one of y'all talking at that point <laughs> right you see what i'm saying so you know this is like i mean she's got more than one song out there so mm -hmm. she's got a few songs on spotify like i think i counted like nine or ten on spotify so well i, I wish her all the best and i hope that her uh career in hip-hop really 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 takes off um especially especially now yeah yeah because and I understand that, you know, and I don't know how, how good she was of a teacher or how much her students meant to her. I can only imagine that she really cared about her students. I mean, I would hope so, because if you're going into teaching, you're not doing it for the money. That's for sure. Cause teachers don't make enough and so you have to care about what you do. So, you know, that being said, uh, we wish you the best. And hopefully um, her second career, which is now her main career, takes off. And that rolls me over to the uh, other article that I picked up off of this one. A uh, Christian teacher was fired, and it was because uh, of beliefs. Now, that one was, uh, I believe, a video. And it was just talking about a, a former uh, California teacher her name was Jessica and she shared how she was fired earlier this year after she refused to lie to parents about their children's gender identity, uh, in the, uh, Ingram angle. And okay. Now without going into all that, you never want to lie at any job at anything. So I commend her for that, first and foremost, regardless of her beliefs, her, spiritual, her spirituality, or her individuality. I commend her because you don't want, you want to hold fast to your beliefs at all times. And, you know, I work in the medical field. If a doctor needed something, I'm going to either get it for them or not. I'm not going to, you know, be told by said company one thing and then tell the doctor another when he's got a patient that he's got to see. And that's what, that's what's expected of me. Um, in, in your profession, if you have a certain load that has to go out on a given day and the driver gets stuck somewhere. You're not going I'm to a, lie. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. The, I'm I'm a bad example because that's every every dispatcher on this planet will tell lies. Every forwarder will tell lies to to carriers. Yes. Here's my lie: driver overslept. That's his lie, right? 
Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the, that's the truth. Yeah. Or he just, you know, he's he's not doing what he's supposed to do. I'm going to tell whoever I got the load from who's cutting me a check. Hey, my my driver blew a tire. He's going to be about an hour behind schedule. We got it repaired, blah, blah, blah. That, those, yes, I in my profession, we will lie. Okay, I'm going to give you the exception to the rule then because I can see how that would affect business. One way or the other, that would affect business. But for her, what would she have to gain by lying to those parents? Her employment. Well, yeah, that that's true, but... I mean, that's that's what it boils down to. She'd have been able to keep her job. But, you know, I commend her for making that decision, too, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm in the firm belief that you can identify as whatever you want to identify as. Yeah. But I am also in the firm belief that I don't have to, to believe what you believe. You can think you're a girl. I don't have to think that you're a girl. Yeah, I mean, we've said it before on the show. I mean, I'm never going to tell anybody. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. Your belief is your belief. If your birth certificate says that you're a girl, you're a girl. To me. Says you're a boy, you're a boy. To me. You want to change up that flow? You go right ahead. May joy go with you and peace behind you. You want to call yourself Karen, but your mama named you Daryl? I'm going to call you Daryl. Till I see that piece of paper that says legally changed. I, I I go back to the old principle, you know, just simple farming tools. You know, when a farmer has his bull, you know, cuts his nuts off, he doesn't become a cow. No. He, he's still, it's still a male. He's a castrated bull. Right. He's a steer. Uh, so it just. You know, when you neuter your dog, it doesn't turn into a feet to a bitch. It, it, it doesn't, you know, it just, it doesn't, it, it's, uh, it's the same, same principle with a, we're just, yeah. we're diluted as, as, a, as a country when it comes to that. We are. And I think, and again, I want to go back. How old were her students in this? Because especially if they're young kids, you know, they don't even remember. That's that hell no, hell no, I'm not gonna uh join into saying that little Timmy is you know little Samantha. No. And and it might have been the other well, no, I can't I can't believe it'd be the other way around because the you know, she's talking about her Christian beliefs, so I know she wasn't trying to hide it from the parents. No, no. I think she got fired because she refused to go, you know, go with the flow type of thing. Yeah, uh, and I know this is further to the left, but I'm using it as a, or those kids or that they, identify as animals, furries, whatever. Oh my god, that is so dumb. Yeah, let somebody come in my classroom. Say, I'm a dog. No, you're not. Sit your ass down. I, yeah, I'd get fired. I'd get fired. Oh, me too. That that whole I do not under I do not for the life of me understand. The younger generation and i'm sure that the our when we were young the older generation said the same thing about us but i don't think that we were this you know and i may offend people but i don't care it's my show uh i, I don't think we were this retarded when we were kids i, I really don't uh that we were this out of you're, touch you're with right. reality you're right i mean it's it's getting worse and worse with each passing day Yes, we we let kids get away with more because we're afraid of the aftermath. Yet the aftermath of that is worse than what it would be if we had, you know, put our foot down and said, no, this is the way it's got to be. Yes, it's just we're so we're too. First of all, the younger generation thinks that everything that they read is true. Mm. I had this, I, 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 I have these, and when I say younger generation, I'm even talking to the kids that are in the, you know, the early thirties. Yeah. Cause I, I have conversations with my oldest son all the time 
And he told me, he goes, you are so closed minded is what he told me. And I said, no, I just don't blindly believe bullshit. You know, you can't right? tell me, you can't tell me that the earth is flat. And he's always sending me stuff to try to tell me that it's a possibility. Okay. And I'm like, no, it, it's, it's literally not scientifically. It's proven that it's not. Well, we've and we've literally sent up rockets to go take pictures of the stuff now. That's, so. But that's all CGI. That that's that's not all real because because then he wants to go biblically. Well, in the Bible it says we can't get past the firmament of the of the earth. So how did we get to outer space? And then I respond to him. Well, do you know what the firmament is? Do you know where the firmament ends? I mean, because it could be the entire Milky Way galaxy is the firmament. You don't know. But neither one of us are God. But I said, scientifically proven, if the Earth is flat, one of the shadows on the on the moon phases would be a rectangle. They wouldn't mm. ever be crescent or circular. It's that simple. I said, take a globe and a spotlight. <laughs> and and bit, show yeah. me, show me how you can get a flat earth from that. Why is part if it's a flat earth, why is one side of the world dark? And the other side light at the same time. Can't do that with a square. No. I okay. I'm getting off my soapbox now. Apologize. No, no, no. That's perfect because that that you know that leads right into that third topic because you know it's not all just teachers and kids. It's mm -mm. it's everyday businessmen. Because oh, yeah. this article here that I saw. This is the one that sent me over the top. This yeah, is this a billionaire. Irritated it. This, irrit this irritated my soul. This, this billionaire, he's a billionaire. Okay, so he's got money. And unfortunately, the people that have money have influence. Yes. He's waging war on all black cast and all female cast Disney movies. I'm, I'm going to get to that in a second. But here, his name is Nelson Peltz. P -E Isn't he also a black guy? Mm -hmm. Did I see that? No, no. No, okay. No. He's an 81-year-old billionaire investor. Oh, yeah. And he's an activist. Now, he, remember that. Remember I said activist. And he's waged public war against the media behemoth Disney. Now, I like the way the article spin that. First of all, he's not really waging war against Disney. He puts money into Disney. He's an investor. And he's trying to get on the board of, of Disney. That's what he's putting his money into so he can get on the board. I'll get to that in a second, too. Um, he seems to be worth around $3.5 billion. Anyway, um, it says no, 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 here. No, 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 no. Read that again. What did I say here? No, read it oh, again. Disney, you Disney. Said, you said he's worth. No, 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 no. no. Disney. His, Sorry. his, uh, his. He currently owns stake in Disney that's worth $3.5 billion. Yeah. Yeah, Disney stake. I'm sorry. But but here's the thing. He's trying to get on the board and, and, mm -hmm. and basically they're not, they're not voting him to get on the board of directors. But what he wants to do and the reason why he's fighting for this seat, he's trying to change the way these movies are done. He said that... Uh, he doesn't like the wokeness of Disney. And, and to some extent, I can agree with that. But the part about him not liking like movies like Black Panther because it has an all-black cast and movies like The Marvels who has an all-female cast, let me stop everybody right there. Okay, where's Wakanda? Is it in Africa? So you're probably going to have a mostly black cast. Right? And Theoretically. by the way, I, I say mostly because, you know, I watch both Black Panther movies and they're not 100% black casted. Well, they, especially they the second one because you have Na Namor who is uh, Peru, yeah. Peru, Perugian or whatever. Mm -hmm. But hell, in the first one, you had Claw. <laughs> you yeah, had, and the uh, agent. Yeah, the agent in there. Yeah. So, so, I mean, I, what, what 
what were you looking for? Are, are you looking for Leonardo DiCaprio to star as T'Challa? That, that wouldn't work. No, what he wants is to not have an all-black movie, period. He doesn't want to give black characters any spotlight. And, and to me, that makes no sense because take it out of the, the Marvel universe for a second. Let's say we made an everyday drama and it takes place in, oh, let me just pick a place. Let's say it took place in Harlem. Do we think that the cast will be mostly black or not? I mean, depends what it depends what era Harlem you're talking about. That is true too, uh, but where I'm going? But no, with I, I I understand what you're saying. Yes, yeah. So you know where I'm going with it. I mean, we need these things. You know, going back to the the Marvels thing. Yes, the three leads were all women, but it wasn't an all female cast. I mean, no. last I checked, Samuel Jackson's pretty much a man. Yeah, he hasn't changed his pronouns for all I know. For all, yeah, that, that's correct. Do I believe that Disney and a lot of other companies have gone woke? I sure do in a lot of the things that they've done and a lot of directions, but I don't think that it's 100% across the board. And I don't think that, I don't think that it's going to hurt them uh, right now because People have noticed it. They're talking about it. Things may shift back. Things may shift in a completely different direction. We don't know. We can't control it because, you know, we're not on that board of directors. Yeah. Um, I think the thing that bothers me, or doesn't bother me, but I guess what I don't understand, it define define the word woke, like. To me, woke to me, that, is that's pushing an agenda. Those, well, to me, woke is like where you where you're actually you you found the truth, the, and it's confirmed truth. That's that, woke. That, that's to me. that's the way it started out. And, but pushing and, and, an agenda, i.e., you know, let's we, make we've changed the term Marvel of characters. Woke. You know, their sexual preferences different. You know, like as kids, we didn't care if Wonder Woman was gay or. If 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 Batman, you know, was banging Robin, we didn't care about any of that. Right. Because the, the things have changed over the years. Now, now. Movies have to blatantly push out more information than what we really care about. Um, we, I don't remember what show it was I was watching with Heather the other day, but they made it a point to have. Uh, two homosexual couples in the movie explaining that they were homosexual and I don't want to say it was hammy acting but they were overselling it and mm -hmm. we were just like we get it okay it's fine you're gay don't push it because that's not what this movie's about and, and, and to me I do see a lot of that not just in movies and TV it's in the commercials and everything now Oh, yeah, it's in everything, everywhere, uh, but, right in front of your face. Yeah, but the thing that, you know, burned me up about this, uh, he mentioned, why do I have to have a Marvel movie that's all women? Not that I have anything against women, but do I have to do that? Why can't I have Marvels that are both? Why do I need an all-black cast? That's Pelts talking. And for these two particular examples, I believe he gave really bad examples because you need an all-black cast for a movie that takes place in Wakanda. If you're going to make a movie about the Marvels, unfortunately, you need women because Captain Marvel's a woman. Uh, well, whatever the other all... two's names are, they're women too. There's a... There's also a male Captain Marvel. He just hasn't been introduced in the Marvel universe, cinematic universe yet. Oh, okay. Um, but you know, regardless of all that, yeah, I mean, these are comic book based movies. Yeah, the characters have been their their foundations and history has been written for decades. So, you know, 
of course, T'Challa is not going to come out lily white with blue eyes and blonde hair. That's no, that, that's not the case. This dude's are, this dude is just an old idiot. Well, he's really going to be mad because next year Captain America four comes out. I hate to break this to you, bro. Captain America is black now. Well, no, he's he's not black. He's still the Falcon. He's just picked up the Captain America mantle. His his character is not going to change. They're right. not going to start calling him Captain America. But what? I do get it. I do understand what you're saying. It's just they they did start calling him Captain America at the end of uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was in the second to the last episode, or or the last episode. Now I remember fact, the original Captain America Super Soldier was black, and he was in that show. Yeah, but yeah. not that they ever called that guy Captain America. And, and if you watch the final episode of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, when they show the title at the beginning, it actually says Captain America and the Winter Soldier. I'd have to look Fun at fact. it again. It's it's been it's been a while since I've seen it. But you know, but this guy's this guy's pocketbook is what's going to have people listening to him, unfortunately. Because yeah, when you money own, talks. you know, you say he's not going to be on the board, but when he owns three point five billion dollars worth of sh share in that company, they're going to listen to him. They're going to hear what he has to say. By my stretch, though, and I'm not saying this for all old people, eighty one years old. He probably feels a certain type of way about women and a certain type of way about people that are not white. Exactly. So that's going to weigh heavily into it. And I get that. The way you're brought up is the way you're brought up. Some people uh, can step into the light and, you know, learn how to think about things in multi directional ways. Some people cannot. Um, I, the question is, you say that he's got the money and he can get on the board. Do you think Disney would let him get on the board? Remember, we're also talking about a company. The reason why Disney okay. is so diverse now I must is stop because right they're there. a global company now. So they're trying to please everybody. True. But I'm going to stop you right there. We were just talking about this. Mm -hmm. This is on a different scale, but Nickelodeon is pretty big. They yeah. were one of Disney's biggest competitors. True. true. All the, they they had three pedophiles on their pay boy, payroll. Mm. They weren't. They didn't have three point five billion dollars worth of share in their in their company. They had access to do real damage to real people. So would I be surprised if they put him on the board? No. Look at that, y'all! Big show dropping the knowledge. It's saying money talks, money talks. People tend to turn a blind eye when you can cut them a check. It just, that's unfortunately, that's everybody has a, has a price nowadays. It seems like that is true. All right, y'all, before we get out of here, I'm going to pose the question to you. Uh, what do you think about these three topics that we put out there? How do you feel about any of them? And just give us your take. Leave us a comment on any platform. You can email us if you want to at the slightly warped podcast at yahoo.com. And uh, if you're on any of our social pages, chime in as well. We appreciate everybody. And if you're on uh, YouTube, make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Any of the uh, podcast feeds, leave me a like there. We uh, always appreciate you, especially uh, for you guys that are listening on Spotify. Show, take us on out of here. Well, we uh, got another one in the books. It's good to see you, my friend. Thank good you guys you for watching. Uh, be sure to tell your loved ones you love them. Tomorrow's not promise. We'll see you next week. You guys take care.